Well, two years ago, I picked a, most of a barrel full of walnuts while they were green with the hulls on them. And I put them in the barn in hopes that they would just dry out and be okay in there. But last year, I didn't get to change them before I had hoped to replace them each year with new green walnuts. But this year, I dumped them out in my bobcat bucket and they were basically all rotten because I guess the moisture out of the hulls had just settled down in them and rotted everything. So I dumped, brought them out here with the bobcat and dumped them out and kind of with the hopes that the squirrels might eat them. But I think they're just beyond any useful purpose. They're just rotten. So this year, Jan and I picked up almost one of our little trailer full, and we scattered them on the, the floor in the barn in the dirt. And so I have hopes of them drying out there, and we can peel the holes off of them, and then put them in onion bags and hang them up somewhere. I think they will last for years probably that way. So anyway, it sure didn't work to put them in the barrel and hope they would dry out in a dry place. I kind of think that if they had, had been in a barrel with a hole in the bottom of it that where the sludge stuff could drain away that they probably would have been okay. Um, I've taken a couple out of here and cracked them open. There's no nut meat in it at all because I kind of thought maybe the ones on top would still be okay. Um, but I'm going to pick up a couple more and take them down to the house and see what they look like. A couple of years ago, we picked up a large portion of a garbage can full of walnuts just to have for emergency, possibly, where we have some good protein. But I put them all in the garbage can, held them all, and I checked them this year and they were pretty soupy, so I suspect they're all bad. So I dumped them for the squirrels and we picked some more up from under one tree, Jan and I did, and I'm going to scatter them out here on the ground so the hulls can dry and then we'll hull them and then put them in onion bags and hang them. We picked them up some years to sell but they don't make enough money to make it worth your time to, to pick them up and sell them for this quite a bit of trouble and you have to take them and get them shelled and they don't make any money, don't make any lab hours labor. So we're going to pick up enough or we feel we have an emergency supply of protein. And they might be good squirrel feed to fatten them up in case we ever really need to eat the squirrels. Be nicer to have a fat squirrel. We're going to let these lay here and dry. I'm going to scatter them out a little bit so we can hand them 
and then put them in the onion bags for storage. Well, this is one that I cracked open, and you know, there's something in there where the nut was, but the nut is no good, definitely. So, we know that's the way that is, but I'm gonna crack another one and see. I'm gonna end up with stained hands. See, this one's holding together a little bit better. The other that I cracked just okay this one's a little less rotten but it is rotten the nut in there is mushy no good so none of those walnuts are any good after two years and so that means we have learned our lesson I decided to drag our walnut cracker out of the cobwebs and brush them off so that uh, I could crack a few walnuts um, and show you how it worked and also to give me some motivation to go ahead and crack some walnuts this year and I think I'd like to make a black walnut maybe with a few English walnut uh, mixed in uh, pie this year for either Thanksgiving or Christmas. I'll see how it goes. Maybe both. Who knows? So I went out and picked up a few walnuts that the holes were off of because they've been ran over or just people walking around whatever they they came off pretty easily um, They're they're green and That's not always the best, but I think it that uh, it'll help them crack easier so the this thing has a a handle that raises and lowers a steel rod down through there and actually crushes the shell now i saw my friend tammy say to put the pointy end down there's a top and a bottom on these things and this one <laughs> looks kind of the same on both sides but I'm going to put what I think is the pointy end down. Put it in there. Up and down is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to slowly put pressure on it. And I think I'm going to have to stand up to do it. Okay, now I don't want to smash it to smithereens, so I just want to crack it till it Till it cracks apart pretty good okay then the walnut has kind of shattered all the way around which is what you want it to do because walnuts black walnuts are especially hard to pick out but you can see right there this little part came out of that part right there and I think without too much difficulty I can pick this section out now the tendency well I broke it but it's going to come out pretty good. You about need a pick whenever you do black walnuts because the shell is so hard it doesn't give and you about have to pry the pieces out but if you can get nice sized pieces like that out of black walnuts you're doing good. I mean it doesn't get a lot of fun whenever you have to pick out little bitty pieces but It's working really well. Now in the past, a long, long time ago, I was kind of like the walnut picking out queen. <laughs> I don't know how many walnuts I picked out there over several years. I don't even know why I wanted to do it, but I did. I picked out a lot of walnuts. So I, I might have to take this uh, over and put it back in there and crush it just a little bit. But when you crush it like that, you need to get a hard spot on the bottom and a hard spot on the top to press and then pop this shell across here like that and and make it so you can separate it and pull the meats out so I'm gonna be busy this winter the next few weeks trying to pick some walnuts out 
And then we also have all those walnuts laying up there on the barn floor that are still drying. We'll be picking those up and we'll do the, our best to get the holes off. I kind of don't think it's that important to get the hole off at this time. But I think what we're going to do is store them in 10 pound onion bags and put them up so that rats can't get into them if they wanted to or the squirrels can't steal them. And if we need those, we'll have them in case the world falls apart and you never know. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for coming and we'll see you next time.